Well, new at six, new warnings for your kids' favorite phone app, Snapchat, now has a new feature going a step further and sharing personal details. A GPS tracker that shows many users exactly where their friends are. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson explains why the Snap Map reaction is greatly divided. Each of these little cartoons is a real life friend of JC Monahan. She can see their locations and they can see hers. I'm over here. This is me yep. on Hillsborough Street. I chose to share it with my friends, so I'm not that concerned. But the new Snap Maps on the Snapchat app is problematic for plenty of parents. A big part of my concern with that is that. A lot of times kids are sitting at home using their phones, so if it's tracking them, everybody's going to know where they live. The feature is optional. Users have to give Snapchat permission to access their location and then choose whether to be visible to all of their contacts, just a few of their friends, or go into ghost mode, where no one can see where they are, but they can see where others are. I um, pick who's like can look at it, because there's definitely some people on my Snapchat that I'm just not interested in them knowing where I am. Some teens say they have no interest interest in the risk of adding that access. What if an adult wants to use Snapchat and he wants to see where kids are at anywhere and just get on it? And even fans say the feature might go a little far. It gets a little creepy because you can see exactly what someone's doing. So if they're listening to music, they have their headphones in, they're going to have headphones on their head. If they're driving in the car, they're going to be in the car. Some say knowing those activities can also bring envy or disappointment. If my friends are all at a party and I was in Invited, I'm definitely going to feel left out. That's a lot of drama. It creates a lot of drama just to be like, hey, you guys are hanging out without me. Bringing folks together, but possibly pushing them apart. In Raleigh, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina. Yeah.